Hey guys, how you doing? This is Juan with Liberty Graphic Designs. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be designing a hat today. Okay, so some of you have been asking me to do a video on embroidery on something, you know, like uh, designing either a shirt or a hat or something, you know, from start to finish, you know, showing you how we do the digitizing, uh, the embroidery and all that stuff. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So in a little bit, I'm going to be, be bringing you to one of the softwares or two softwares that I uh, use. And um, I'm going to be uh, showing you how we come up with different designs and how we uh, digitize. So <clears throat> as soon as I switch it over, you're not going to be able to see my face. I haven't set up the uh, the um, the software to actually record my face and the software at the same time. So you're just going to be uh, seeing the software itself. So let's go there and see uh, what we can do, okay? Okay, so here we are at the uh, desktop, and we're going to select the uh, designing software. Like, for example, you can use CorelDRAW, you can use uh, Illustrator, you can use Inkscape, whatever you guys are using. In this case, I'm going to be using LXI. So that's what that's what this is. It's LXI, and what we're going to be selecting or what we're going to be designing today is going to be the word trocian, no, tracking. We're going to be uh, doing tracking. And that's the hat that we're going to be designing today. So there's the word tracking. And then the next thing will be, um, again, we're, we're going to be, a, we're, we're about to start digitizing a, 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 an actual hat, right? So we're going to be um, selecting the actual font that we want. So here's my font selector or selection or design center, whatever. And I'm going to select the font that I want, which is that one right there. And here we go. We got uh, the font that we want. And then if you want to make changes to the font right here before you bring it into the designing software, this is where you want to make those changes. Like, for example, see that gap between the C and the K? I don't want there to be a gap. So I'm going to select that uh, font. And then um, in, in this software, I can uh, uh, like triple click and then maybe do it again there you go and then you're gonna have this little uh, grab points right there this kind of looks like notes I don't know if you can see it right there let me zoom in so you can see it that right there I'm gonna grab it and then I'm gonna move it so the K moves underneath the C so there you go that's how I want it to be I don't want it to be any spaces so everything's gonna be embroidered right on top of each other so now um, that we have like for example this is all the changes that we're gonna do in the word tracking here in the software we can do the next on the digitizing software so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it uh, control C for copy or if you want to right click and then copy whichever way you want to do it so then what we're gonna do there's several ways of importing your job into a designing or digitizing software in this case we're working with welcome E4 that's what this is and we're gonna select a new job so right here and then just click anywhere on the screen and, and click uh, Control V as in Victor to import your file. So again, uh, depending on the software that you're using to digitize, import it the best way that you can. In this case, this is the easiest. It's a uh, uh, right click and a paste. So okay, so here's our word tracking. If you notice, I'm gonna go back to the designing software, LXI here it's all one word is connected together in the uh, the si or digitizing software when you import an image or import something in it in this case uh, the word tracking it's gonna separate it so see that it's all separated so we're gonna oops went too far um, we're gonna start digitizing these words now. But before I do that, this is if you wanna put something in there like your own signature, and I don't mean physical in signature. I mean like uh, for to make it like a, a um, copyrighted. Uh, then here's where you do your little your little uh, changes. Like for example, if I wanna change the dot on the e on the e on the i, then this is where you wanna make them. 
which is where you want to make the the uh, the changes. If you want to make this little tail on the G, this is where you would like to make those changes. Me, the changes that I make, I make them on the T. So I'm just gonna select the T a slightly bigger, just a little bit, just like that. If you notice this, uh, like a little outline in the back, and we're gonna be deleting that. We don't need that because that's actually gonna be in the way whenever we start. Um, whenever we want to go and embroider, that's going to be in the way. Okay, so now for digitizing, and this is super easy. Several ways, there's many people that do it different ways. So this is the easiest way to digitize something. Select whatever you want to select to digitize. In this case, is the T, and I just took it away so you can see that that one is selected. And then if you notice up here, there's different types of um, embroidery uh, files. So we're gonna we're gonna click the first one, or in this in like in this uh, um, group, we're gonna go and, and select uh, sand sand stitch, select it, and that's it. You know, it's done. The letter is ready. It's digitized. But that's not how I want it to look. But um, so what I wanted to do is I want the top of the T to be separated from the bottom of the T. And to do that, there's another button. It's really easy to, to do it. I don't have to digitize everything by hand, you know, the top of the T or the little um, stick of the T. So just to do that, I go down here, and you see the little knife, automatic knife, and I click it. Make sure your letter is selected. Click it, and it's going to cut it for me automatically. So now, if you notice, it, it changed the way it's, uh, it's going to be uh, embroidered. And... Uh, <clears throat> it also separated it. So if you notice, whoops, <laughs> sorry, it's not separated yet. So you right click and then you go down here and click break apart. So now it's two different pieces. And this is where I make my changes. But before I start making any changes, I want to I want to make sure that my entire uh, work area is at the actual right size. So I'm going to go back to there because I want to digitize everything in the correct size. And this one I want it to be 5.5 inches. And then tall, uh, one, and a, one and three quarters, that's correct. I want to keep it at one and three quarters. So now I can make my actual digitizing. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that. So once we have our job set up at the right size, in this case, I want it to be five and a half or 5.5 by one and three quarters. And the reason why I wanted one and three quarters is because uh, you can only embroider two inches on a hat, you know, uh, you can embroider a little more, but it's, it's, um, it's kind of tricky. So on this one, I'm going to keep it at one and three quarters because I'm going to modify this T even more. And then I will end up close to two inches, um, because of the hat that I'm going to be embroidering this on. So, okay. So having that T selected, I'm going to click sand stitch, just click it and watch the software is going to do everything for us. But if you notice, the stitching is going to go like this, and it's so weird. So what I want on this, I want the top of the T to be separated from this little uh, part of the T. So select that again and go down here and select the automatic knife. Now right click and then go to break apart. And now look at that. We have two different objects. So this is where I'm going to make my changes. So I'm going to select both of them. Uh, and uh, click on one and then uh, click and, and, and hold uh, shift and click on the other one. And then now you got both of them selected. So I'm going to go up just a little bit and then select just the top of the T. And I'm going to stretch it all the way to where it almost touches the K. Um, that's going to be my, uh, per se, my signature or my signature per se. That's how you can... Uh, um, the, uh, that's why you can tell the difference between uh, somebody's um, uh, trademark. Okay, so in this case, um, our uh, sewing or embroidery is going to go like that. Um, so what we're going to do right now is select this, double click, and we want to make sure that our um, underlay is in place. If you notice, there's no underlay, so we're going to click this first underlay, and then we want double zigzag. So right there, click on this one. If you notice, this one has a small valley right here. So you notice that different uh, um, color variation right there? That means that the stitches are going to go from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here. 
it's going to create a little valley. We don't want that. So in order for us to get rid of that, select it or double click it and then go to fills. See right there where it says fill? Um, and then we're going to go down here where it says auto split. And we're going to change that and we're going to make it uh, make, make the stitches longer. And you know, Watch the little shadow right there. It's going to disappear. Did you see that? So it disappears somewhat. So we want it to disappear completely. Well, actually, that's, that's pretty good. So that's how you get rid of those little valleys. And then double click again. Go to underlay. Make sure you have a uh, double zigzag selected. Click on this one, underlay. And notice this one is not selected. So you have to select it. Uh, double zigzag. Uh, we're good on that. So that way it embroiders nice and neat. So let's go to the R now. Click on the um, sand stitch and then click the knife. So automatic knife. So it does the separation for us. Um, double click it and then go to fills. And we're going to change the, the ways. Uh, um, no, actually that one is good. So let's bring it back down to seven. Okay. So <clears throat> that's pretty easy. Now let's double click it again. Go to underlay. Make sure it's uh, zigzag. Double zigzag, I'm sorry, because we want this to be a nice looking hat. We want to put enough uh, uh, or a lot of uh, stitches. So remember, sign stitch, once it's selected, and then the knife, so it cuts it for us. Make sure you don't see any, any little valleys. And I'm going to double click to create those valleys so you know what I'm talking about. Let me go down really low. And you see those lines that you see right there? That's how the that's how the hat or this lead is gonna be embroidered. So stitches from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, and it's gonna create a little valley right there. We don't want that. So we want it to be all one stitch. That's why we're gonna go back to seven, seven millimeters, seven point seven, and then don't forget to do the underlay and double zigzag. You don't have to do double zigzag, but uh, the reason why I'm doing double zigzag. It's because I want the stitching to look really nice. So there you go. Um, this one right here, notice how it didn't cut the, the part right there. So we might have to change the stitching right here. And to change the stitching, if you notice, the stitching is going down from here to here. So we might have to change it. And to change the stitching, you have to select where you want to change the stitching. And then you go down here. Or you find this little um, tool. And it looks like a windshield wiper. Select it, and then you're going to click on it, click, 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 and then enter. And see how it changed the uh, stitching? Now the stitching is going across like this, and then going over like so. And you can also modify it by moving this stitch deal right here. I didn't want to do it, so yeah, we'll just leave it alone then. Um, and that's it. That's how you change the stitching to make the... Um, to make the, the letter look better. So let's go back, check the underlay, make sure it's double zigzag, select the K, and then auto, uh, automatic knife. Everything looks good on the K, so we're going to leave that alone. If you notice this double variation in color, so what that's telling us is that the machine is going to start like right here and it's going to go and embroider. It's going to stop right here and then it's going to go to the outside and embroider. And it's gonna meet right here. That's why you see two different colors in there. If you're using tatami uh, stitching, uh, you don't want that because you'll see a different uh, a variation. Even though you're using the same color thread, you can see that. This one says sun. Uh, you don't see it that much. I'm not even gonna worry about that. And I'm gonna select this one in tatami stitching so you know what I'm talking about. This is tatami, and that's the kind of stitching. So if if there was a coloring change like it is here you can see it really bad so we don't want that so but we're using sand stitch and then don't forget to do the automatic knife and i didn't for, i didn't remember doing this one and the other underlay so let's make sure we do an underlay um just like that okay so this one right here the eye i'm gonna leave it on, on purpose i'm gonna leave it without messing with the underlay so you guys know what i'm talking about uh, when I do the next step. So let's select that. Um, <clears throat> select the, the uh, assignment stitch. And then right here you're going to notice why I'm hitting this little knife. Because if you notice the stitching is going alongside like that. It's very long stitches. They don't look they don't look that pretty. So the reason why I hit this little knife is because that's going to arrange them in the best possible way. Watch. 
see what happens. See that? See how it switched it over and now it looks really nice? Um, that's why I'm hitting the little knife. Um, so let's do this one. Automatic knife. Make sure we don't see any little valleys. It underlay. Double zigzag. And last but not least, let's do the G. Automatic knife. And underlay. There you go. So, okay, so we have all everything digitized. This is what digitizing is, okay? So now, once we're done with this, let me grab this. So, what you want to do, we, we want to select everything because we want to delete what's underneath, which is those lines from the uh, original design. We want to move that out of the way. And you see all those lines right there? Those are going to be messing up with our um, embroidery. So, we don't want them there. Let's delete them. And then grab everything together again. Don't join them together because when you join them, sometimes you create a, a another you create another problem when the machine is embroidering. Uh, it won't cut your, your jumps if you join them together. So, uh, say for example, there was a thread that was jumping from here to there. You're gonna be able to see it. And so, if you leave it if you leave it alone, the jumps will be cut. Uh, okay, so now we're done. Everything is done. Don't forget to save it. So let's go to save this design because if you look up here, it says design two, but there's no actual name. So we're going to save it. I send it to that same folder that I was uh, doing and we're going to name it. Actually, I like to save my stuff in um, uh, capital letters. So we're going to save it as uh, tracking. Was that what, it, what I had? <laughs> and for some reason, it's already knowing what I'm wanting to do, right? So tracking, save it. And that's ready to go. So before we go to the embroidery machine, uh, we want to make sure that it's the right size. If you notice, it grew a little bit, which is good. It's okay. Not, no big deal. But another thing we want to do, we want to know, is that it's going to be embroidering the correct way. So uh, again, you don't have to select it. I just selected. And then you got to click this little icon that looks like a flower pot. It's called Stitch Player. Hit it, and then it's going to show a the way that it's going to be embroidered. This is where you want to make your changes. Uh, so I'm going to pause it for a little bit because I want to tell you what's going to happen. <clears throat> On a hat, you always want to start from the center out. Center out. This one started on the T. I'm not going to make that change. I'm going to leave it alone because in the past I've been embroidering like this and I haven't created a problem yet. So I'm going to leave it alone. But the reason why I stopped, remember on, I think it was the end, I didn't do the underlay. Notice how right here is doing the underlay and it's showing me that it's doing a double zigzag. Well, watch when it gets to the end, it's not going to do it. And you, this is where you catch any, any mistakes. So let's watch it. So this, it was the eye actually. So if you notice, I'm going to bring it back so you can see it. Did you notice there's no underlay? It's because we didn't put an underlay there. So this is why you want to watch a uh, stitch play before you even do the embroidery. That way, if there's a mistake, you can catch it before it um, becomes an actual mistake. So let's select it again. Now we're going to go to underlay, and we're going to select the um, double six act. Because notice it was a center run. Select this one. I don't remember doing it on that one either. So there you go. And Oh, it's already there. There you go. So let's save it again. It's ready to go. So all we got to do now is send it to either the machine, if you have it connected via uh, a network, if you have it connected via uh, any sort of cable, or if you do it like me, I use a USB. So let me grab uh, the USB and we'll save it to the USB. Okay, so um, everything is ready to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, and then we're going to we're gonna um, uh, do an Export Machine File. And this is only on, on uh, Welcome E4. And then there's our name, and then we gotta send it to an actual the actual target, which is gonna be my USB. There's the other uh, files that I have in there, and then just save. And that's it. That's all we gotta do. Is ready to go. Now let's go to the machine. So that's it. That's all we had to do on digitizing. I'm sorry, guys. This video is gonna be very long. Digitizing uh, or embroidery videos that tend to be really long. So. Let me grab the USB, and now we have our file here. 
uh, all we got to do now is grab a, a cap or a hat, whatever you want to call it, uh, take it over to the machine, and um, that's where we're going to be doing the rest of the video. So let's go over the machine and, uh, and embroider the hat. Okay, so I switched over to my regular camera, and we're going to put this in the uh, um, embroidery machine. We're going to upload that file to the machine. There you go, that's the one we need. It's ready to go. So now we're going to select the actual thread that I want. There you go. Let's subtract it. And I'm going to use this uh, blue hat because it's ready to go. So let me load it on the machine. Okay, so the machine is set up and ready to go. All we got to do now is uh, press start. Okay, so that's that's it. Hat is done. All I have to do is remove it from uh, the drive, and that's it. That's how we design a hat from start to finish, um, digitizing and then you know selecting the hat. In this case, I did uh, silver thread with a blue hat, uh, Richardson 168 hat and i mean again that's it that's all we do that's it's it the hat is done soon you'll see it on etsy i'm gonna i'm gonna start selling this one's on etsy um so let me know what you guys think that's it for this video guys it was a pleasure making the video for you guys if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share the video <laughs> thank you for watching it was a pleasure and i will certainly watch
and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you guys. See you later. Bye-bye now.